Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raven. If you are new here, welcome. So today I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial for the holidays only using one brand. We're going to be using the drugstore brand Maybelline. So if you want to see what I create, then keep watching. Yeah, I have my hair pulled back. I already primed my eyes. I used the Anastasia concealer in the color 4.5. Um, I don't have my brows done, but yes, I already prepped my eyes for the for the eyeshadow. So for this look, we're going to be using the Burgundy Bar Palette by Maybelline. This is what it looks like. I will open it for you. Um, here are all the colors that we have. So we have this color scheme. I think it's really pretty. Definitely holiday colors for sure. It comes with this little brush in here. Um, I don't like these little applicators, so I won't be using that. But yeah, so we are going to this Christmassy place today. So I want to do something really cute. We're going to be taking pictures with Santa Claus. So definitely want to look cute for that. Um, let's see. First thing off the bat is this palette, like, it looks like they're, like, little stickers on here. It doesn't look like actual pots, if you, like, can see. Like, it looks like they're stickers. Um, so you get, let me see, 0.33 ounces of product. So, I, I mean, I think that's good. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this first top color. It's like a neutral color. And I'm taking my BH Cosmetics Pro Studio brush, and this is in the number 5. And I'm just going to put that all over in, in my crease. And I'm using this as my transition shade. Okay, had to grab the baby again. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just using that as my transition shade. Next, I'm just going to be taking that brown color on the bottom of, uh, right under the bottom of that first shade I used. The first thing I noticed about this palette is it has a lot of shimmers in it. Um, I wish they would have did a little more like matte burgundies or like one matte burgundy and then a shimmer burgundy because I think it would have complemented the palette better. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shimmers and only two mattes. So I would have liked a more more of a variety of matte colors than a whole variety of shimmer colors because I just feel like these two transition shades we could have used one more or squeezed one more in so we're just gonna go in with that brown color and I'm just putting that in the outer V and then I'm just gonna work that inward into my crease This is kind of like a chocolatey brown, which I like because it does give that nice smoky effect. Like I said, there isn't like another shade. I would like, I would have liked to add a burgundy within the crease, but there isn't a burgundy. So because we're gonna do another red lip, I think we're gonna go for more of the brown. Okay, so this brown right here, I'm gonna go ahead and take that and put that on my eyelid. Oh, that's a little dark. Let's see. That's like really dark. I don't like that at all. Um, 
Yeah, let's not do that. Let's do a lighter color. Let's do the gold. Yeah, that's so much better. And right off the bat, these are like really creamy and really soft. Like, I'm really impressed. I love this. So this is definitely like a good, like go-to easy holiday look. Definitely. You have two matte colors and then you have all these shimmers to choose from which is really nice. Then I'm just gonna take the shimmer all the way in this corner right here at the bottom. And I'm gonna put that in my inner corner right here. That's not bad. I wish it would pop a little more. It's not popping like I want it to. So I'm going to spray my brush with some all-nighter setting spray, see if that helps. Okay. Well, it's okay. I mean, yeah, it's all right, I guess. Now that I don't have a baby in my hand like I always do, um... I'm not really liking this palette. I feel like this is really dull. This is very um, calming. Not calming, but like, I, I just want it a little more, you know, like just a little more of or something. I don't know. Maybe take one of these colors and mix it. I don't know. Let's try the darker purple. Let's see. Yeah, it's just not like what I see in a pan. I like. But what I'm seeing on my eye, I don't like. I'm like... I'm not liking it at all. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it. It looks very, like, plain. I feel like I, on camera, it's not really picking up what's on my eye. I just feel like there's way too many shimmers in here and I'm not able to work with, I'm not really able to create anything with the palette. It's just, it's not coming out the way I want it. Um, so I'm gonna take this Morphe S20 brush and I'm gonna take that brown color on the bottom and I'm just gonna, Smudge it on my just smudge it on the bottom. I don't know guys, what do you guys think? I feel like it's very like, very subtle. Very, very subtle. <laughs> I don't like it. I really, really, really don't like this. So, I really like a lot of Maybelline's products. Um, I, you guys know I use their brow stuff. 
or their brow pencil and I also use their eyeliner which is really good I'm just not sure why I don't know I guess everything can't be like everything always can't be amazing I mean they're I don't know I use so many Maybelline products and I love them and it's just this palette is not it's not working I don't I really don't like it I'm taking uh, the Big Shot mascara I think this is as good as the eyes are going to get. So now I'm using the Maybelline Brow Precise Pencil. Um, I love this pencil. I usually use um, pomades, but this pencil is really good. And this is in the color, let's see, Black Brown. Yeah, so this brow pencil is gold. <laughs> um, I need to get my eyebrows done because they look like bushy caterpillars right now. Um, so just don't mind. We're going to go ahead and fix that. Okay, I think that is good for the brows. Um, I'm going to take my Master Precise All Day Liner and I'm just going to put some liner on the bottom of my lash line and then I'm just gonna close my eye and then it just kind of tight lines the top because I'm so bad at tight lining so this is a trick that I learned from Jackie Aina and it just tight lines everything you don't have to be like like, I'm so bad at doing that. Like, it's, yeah, no. Does not work out for me. Okay, so now for lashes, I'm going to be using the Yes Queen um, Lily Lashes. These are 3D mink lashes, and you get up to 25 wears in them. This is what they look like. Yes, so I'm going to be using those today. Just to give this look a little more something, like I need something to pop because the eyes are not popping. So I definitely need some lashes that are going to make this look pop. For foundation, I am using the Fit Me Maybelline foundation. This is in the shade 340 Cappuccino and this is the Matte Poreless foundation. I don't know why I got Matte Poreless because my skin is so dry because of this Arizona weather, but I did, and I'm really hoping this is my color. Um, I wanted to get the foundation that they came out with last year, but there was only two shades that were similar to my shade, and it just wasn't gonna work out, so hopefully this will work. Oh yeah, this is a little bit too orange for me, like, yeah, this is a little too orange. Definitely too orange. This is the only thing about drugstore foundations, it's really hard for me to find my shade. Um, and it's really hard for me to find my shade in a lot of foundations, actually, not just drugstore. Um, so I usually just stay to my Fenty because that's the only one I really trust and I know that's going to match me, um, pretty well. So I usually just stay to that, uh, but yeah, this is a little bit too orange for me. Hopefully we can cool it down with, um, with some 
highlight. Yeah, this is way too orange. Way too orange. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of my Age Rewind that I usually use, and I'm just going to put a dot, a dab there. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Fenty just to mix it in to calm it down, you know. Yeah, it's a little bit too, I don't know. I'm going to use a little more Fenty. I know this is one brand, but it's so hard. Okay. Yeah, so that this foundation, I feel like it is too orange on me. Um, I did add some of my Fenty highlighter because I just feel like it's really, really orange. Um, and that's not saying this is a bad foundation. I've used this foundation before. Um, but 340, I don't think is my shade at all. Um, when you're pregnant and you have a baby or like after you're pregnant, sometimes your skin tone changes and my skin tone always changes when I'm pregnant. So the shades are not like pretty accurate, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I didn't do good on the foundation. So just disregard that. But anyway, I am going to be using the Master Contour um, palette. I've had this for a while. I um, I used this in my drugstore look that I did a year ago, I believe. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely, I like this palette. I know I love this palette because I've used it multiple times. Um, but their Master um, line is really good. So... I'm just gonna bronze up my cheeks. See, that's really pretty. It's really pretty. It's perfect. Um, and this is in what is this? This is the medium to deep palette. So I'm gonna use that. Um, and I think this also will calm down that orangey mess that I made for myself. So let's just not. Talk about that. Do you see my edges? They look like they're good today, but honestly, they're not. Okay, so let's just not look like them. But and then I'm gonna also use the blush in here. And then my highlighter, this is my favorite drugstore highlighter. This is the Molten Gold Highlighter from Maybelline. Duh. <laughs> I use this highlighter a lot. Like, it is so bomb. I felt like highlighter fixes everything, all my problems. So, yeah, you know. Um... Next, I am going to go ahead and put my lashes on. I've had them sitting for like two minutes. Honestly, like I need to get better at this. Like it's ridiculous. I'm going to take some more of that molten gold because I want this to pop. <laughs> it's not popping. And I'm just going to put that in my inner corner. That looks so much better. So much better. Okay, so I got a red lipstick. Um, I shouldn't have got red. I don't think red is going to look good with this look. Um, but yeah, I got a red lipstick for some reason. But since I don't have any other Maybelline lipstick, we're just going to use this one. Oh, it's kind of like a matte one. Okay. So this is the Scarlet Flame Lipstick. Um, let's see. Definitely not. No. 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 Mm -mm. 
no that was my mistake okay so I couldn't figure out a lip so I just did my usual lip that I usually do you guys have seen it on my youtube you have seen it on my channel so this is what the look looks like um it's very <laughs> natural and very like toned down for me definitely um but what do you guys think do you guys like this i mean how do you guys feel about this palette like i picked this up because I was like, oh my god, that's a really pretty palette. I really love it. And then it was a little hard to work with. Um, so I personally wouldn't recommend that palette. Because I do feel like there are too many shimmers. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is perfect for holiday. So I just picked it up. But I feel like there's too many shimmers and not enough mattes in this palette. So personally... I wouldn't pick it up but if you guys like this look then definitely pick it up um, the foundation was a no because of my own doing I got the wrong shade don't even worry about that um, but everything else I loved I don't like this lipstick at all like I thought it was gonna be like an actual lipstick this is the problem when you see makeup and you literally just pick it up and you're like oh yes oh you know so um yeah but most of everything is maybelline the only thing that isn't is my eyelashes and my lip gloss and the fenty highlight so yeah everything else is maybelline i feel like this look did come out pretty good for a drugstore brand um it could have been worse honestly but yeah i think it looks okay i am going to wear that turtleneck that i wore in my walmart find video and then i'm just going to pair that with some jeans and some heels probably and i'm going to wear that to go see santa claus you know and hopefully i don't scare santa claus or you know <laughs> but anyway um let me know what you guys think about this look if you guys want to see more drugstore makeup tutorials i would love to do them so definitely comment down below there is a little notification bell you can hit every time i upload a video you will be notified so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye